Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to the Investing Channel. This is Ryan and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can set up an RSI scan on the left side uh, column of your Thinkorswim platform if you're trading stocks through Amer TD Ameritrade uh, and you're using the Thinkorswim platform. So I'm going to show you guys how you can set that up so that if you want to look for a potential stock that you guys can invest in, it could be a good indicator for you guys that it's getting ready to bounce back up. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I do, please look over here on the right side of your screen, smack the subscribe button right now, and then also hit the notification bell when it pops up so that you're notified when I come up with more videos. Okay, guys? So let's go ahead and we'll get started. All right, here we go. All right, so we'll get going here. I'm going to move my photo, my video of me down to the bottom left-hand corner. Typically, I like to have it up here, but there's some buttons I'm going to be going to up here, and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so over here is the hot RSI scan over here that I have set up. And uh, what I do is I usually will sort by net change. But I like to have it up here so that I can quickly, you know, take a look over here and see what stocks I want to potentially click on or look at or whatever through the day. Now, I have my other watch list over here. Don't worry about looking at those because I'm going to be deleting that off anyway. Every day I add new ones in there that I want to be watching. I look for the ones that are gapping up for the day. Um, but... I'm going to set, show you guys how you can set up your own RSI scan. And let me quickly share with you that don't know what the RSI is already. Um, it's an indicator. It's a study that basically you guys can use to get a feel for when the market might be starting to go up for a particular stock. So you'll see here, uh, right here in the center of the screen, you'll see two yellow bars going across the screen right here, the upper one and the lower one. Now you'll notice there's some areas in red here. Those are indicators. Once it usually hits this yellow line, uh, it'll usually turn red, and that means that the stock's getting ready to probably start dropping in uh, value. Um, and over here, same thing. You'll notice right after the red, it started to drop. Over here, you don't see any red because none of these had hit that yellow bar yet. Even this one, it came really close, but if it had, it would start to turn red, and then everything would start to drop again. So the same thing with the blue area here. Once uh, the line hits the blue, or excuse me, once the line hits the yellow area down at the bottom, and if it turns blue, it's usually a good indicator that means that it's going to be going up here soon. So it's not the only indicator that you guys want to use. I use other ones like the MACD and the VOS predictive uh, filter, um, but you can do whatever one you want. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can uh, have an RSI scan. Um, basically what it's going to be telling you is uh, that it's going to be kind of in this area, in the blue area. Um, so let's just click on a few here. And you'll notice that uh, at certain times, this scan had probably clicked on or started to appear when it, uh, when it hit a certain area right in here, letting you know. So if you're in here and you're just wait, looking for a stock you want to go after, you basically could just kind of click through here and see where it's at and start following it because this scan, the stock might appear maybe somewhere in this in this particular area here, and it's you know that like oh it's dropping here, but it's probably going to be bouncing back up here shortly. So it's just a, it's just provides you with stocks that are close to a certain line. And if you look over here, it's the yellow line's kind of uh, roughly at the 30 mark right here. Um, I'm going to set up the scan so that when a stock when a stock hits that line. When it's close to that line, it's going to appear here on your screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get started. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come over here to the right side margin. Let me find which side it's on here. Uh, da, 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 I think it's. Hold on a second. Oh, I've got to go to scans. Sorry, got to go to the scans tab up at the top. I knew I was missing something. And then over here, load scan query. So what I do is I come over here on the drop down and I click create new scan query. And what I like to do is you see how I can scroll a little bit, but it's pretty tight right here. So I grab just above this black area, there's a line and you'll see your mouse kind of change shapes. I like to drag that down, give me some more space. Okay. So what, what you're going to have is you're going to first you're going to have a, a, a stock uh, level here, a stock row, and you'll have another stock row, and then ultimately you'll have a study row, okay? So on the first one, I want to change the net change to close. And then I'm going to make this between $2 
and I'm just going to say $20, let's say. You can do whatever you want. You want to make it 100 you got lots of money rolling in. You can go with 100 uh, That's fine. The uh, next thing we're going to go with is volume, and I'm going to make this a minimum of 250000 There it is. And on the area back here, I'm just going to kind of leave this open. And then over here under stock on the third one, I'm just going to X that out. Okay? But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to change it to steady. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here when I'm going to click on the arrow and it's going to load up everything here. And I'm going to choose custom. And then what I'm going to do is click on edit over here. And I'm going to do a search for study again. And then I'm going to look up the study. I'm going to do RSI. Oops. RSI. There it is right there. RSI. So I chose RSI. And here I'm going to be going with less than or equal to. Let me see what I did here. I did less than or equal to. And I'm up here. I'm going to check select a condition. I'm going to choose a value. And I'm going to choose 30. And I'm going to change it within three bars. Okay. And then I'm going to click save. Now if you guys need to watch this uh, again, I know it's kind of a lot, and I don't know why it's not easier to set up this third component, but you do have to click on a few uh, uh, links along the way, probably more than you really need to. But ultimately, I'm going to click on OK here, and then I've got to name it, and I'm just going to name it uh, YouTube RSI so I know what it's about, and then I'm going to click Save. Now it's been saved, right? So I have two ways of getting to it. I can get to it from here. I can click on load scan. If I go to personal, you'll see YouTube RSI right there. But what I like to do is I like to come over here under my watch list and I just click on which one I'm looking at now. I'll change this one from RSI hot scan to the one. Hold on a second. My dog's getting my cat. Hey, excuse me. Okay, get down. Let's get out of here. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Up. Up. Get up on the bed. Get up on the bed. There you go. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to personal and I'm going to change it to YouTube RSI, okay? And here it is. It's all loaded up. It's going to be dynamically changing throughout the day. And that's how you can have it on the left side margin, your own RSI scan. And then you can just watch it. Remember to sort by net change so that it's all in green so that you're watching the ones that have a so that you have a trending up momentum and that's how you do it. So if you guys found this valuable, please look down in the center of your screen right now. Give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you valued my content and I will be looking forward to seeing you guys on my next videos. Remember, subscribe to the channel, smack the notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.